So here we were out here, just kind of running through, exploring our map a bit, getting the outposts, getting the um, lookout points, when out came this piebald track. Now it is a access to your track, piebald, so it's not like the, what I would say, the rarest of rares, but it's still a piebald, and it is still, uh, you know, a very cool find. That's why I always recommend um, getting that trait, or, yeah, trait that, uh, you know, allows you to get the disturbed vegetation because you can just find those tracks and it's one thing that I do as I'm really running through the woods I try to get all of the, the uh, disturbed veg tracks that I can uh, for reasons like this because you'll you'll never know what you can find like many of the trophies that I have ended up finding lately uh, and just over time have been because I found you know these tracks but we got a bit of tracking to do since we're a little behind where wherever he was. So we're going to track him down, and, um, yeah. There he is again. Beautiful looking animal. Like it if he, well, if he stopped for longer than that one second, that would have been nice. You're just going to make this increasingly difficult with where you're going, aren't you? Was that too far forward? I don't think so. He's going down. Unfortunate with that weight estimate that it wasn't much bigger than that. That'll just make sure he goes down, but I'm happy with it. With that weight estimate. No, definitely don't like shooting the animal when it's stuck. And that's how we got it, but that's all right. I mean, we got the animal. Looks absolutely beautiful. I love the new Axis Deer model. Just looks so incredible. Can I get in this bush and... Well, not really. But there we go. Just a little... So we did right lung him the first time, and then the second shot double lunged. There we go. A little silver 146 scoring piebald axis deer. Tax me that, because you don't see those every day. Very nice. I really like how that looks. Hello. No, not you. I don't care about you. Hello is for you. There's someone still after me, buddy. Somebody's still after me. There's a croc that's gonna jump out of the water here. But that's what we're looking at. Yeah, the 243 pistol is such a so useful. I don't even know what I can say. Such a useful tool. My goodness. Come here, you mythical red fox, you. Gold. Didn't really have much of a hope that I was going to be a diamond with that, but there's always a chance. I've got a couple crocs out here. What if you weren't in the water, though? Like, that would be a lot more beneficial for me. If you weren't in the water like you are. I I took that out actually. Okay. That was just. A... I don't know where those two shots went, but all right, moving on. I'm, I guess the water. I hit the water maybe. That's really weird. Oh, who was aggressive? What are you? Dark brown nine oh six. Very cool. Mythical out there. Right next to a legendary. Okay. 1022 to 1192. That, my friends, is a guaranteed diamond. Why are you growling? Who is going to kill me? Don't like that. I have a guaranteed diamond out there next to a mythical that's also max weight that has no chance. That 
is pretty insane. Wow. <laughs> Got me coughing. All right. Well, let's try to get in here. Try to get both of them. We got a Bantang coming towards him as well. Mr. Legendary here is going to have to turn towards us, though. Don't like the way that he is facing. Maybe? Perhaps? I guess not. Definitely not risking a follow-up shot on the on that guy. We 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 vital both of them for sure because they're going down. There's probably just a single lung on on both, but that is I'm perfectly fine with that. One of them floats up there. The other one will float up probably a little further out, but that's okay. Yep, there he is. And we'll just wait for them both to float in here. And should be at the level nine here as we don't have him spotted. And he is a diamond. Oh, I, mean, I knew that. I, I'm that, that that was a little slow for me. <laughs> one thousand sixty-two point one eight scoring diamond right there. One thousand sixty-five kgs. That is awesome. I'm gonna taxidermy that before I forget because that would suck. Incredible. Awesome. All right. Gray fur type, or I guess, I mean, I don't know what you would call that. Gray scales? No, those aren't scales. Gray, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> um, is that scales? I'm struggling to actually think of proper words right now. I'm it's two in the morning. I'm a little like, shaky. oh, and the other one's right here as well. It was an olive. Yeah, awesome. I taxed her with that, right? Uh, now, now I'm nervous. Um, I definitely hit that button, right? I'm sure I did. Yeah, I know I did. Okay, gather that guy. And now that we've got our, our, our two trophies to put up, we're supposed to head back to our lodge and the hunt here and uh, put those up. And here we are, back in the lodge, and right up here we've got our most recent access to your piebald. They were shot a couple days apart, these two clips, but they didn't have much to put up, so that's why. But we got him up here, kind of filling out this row of animals, trying to get a big variety up there, and I think we've got a good start. Um, and then for our coolest addition, I was really happy with how this kind of looks. We've got our... Uh, newest gray diamond saltwater croc here right across from the bantang we have in this room and it kind of just i think it looks pretty cool with the the croc kind of lunging towards the bantang and getting it on this mount you see just how massive those saltwater crocs are they are huge creatures like looking at that size comparison it it is crazy and and just for reference um i'll go show you the diamond gator that i have from mississippi acres in this room and he's on a much smaller platform and you can see he he barely is long enough to go he goes just over the front and then just over the back but really looking at how much smaller he is compared to that saltwater croc in there it is crazy just just how big they are and i think it's hard to hard to really see that until you get him like that um yeah, super, super pleased with with the, the newest additions here. Really happy. The croc looks beautiful. I, I'm really looking forward to hunting them. See if I can get some of their rares because they are just so beautiful. I love the model. They look so good. Um, and you know, I'll stop uh, ranting about how good I think it looks. And um, that'll about do it so thank you so much especially if you've made it this far to the video i appreciate it so so much uh you're now leaving the danger zone so stay safe out there and i hope to catch you back here next time bye